mucus. The scourge of mankind. This cold really has you on the ropes, doesn't it, Tick? No mere common cold, Arthur. No. This must be some super interstellar mutant virus from space. Empires have fallen at the foot of this pox. Yeah, well, don't give it to me. Arthur, resistance wearing down. Must have more soup. Sure. What the? Hey, the mail came. Yuck. Oh, oops. Hit for somebody in apartment 14B. That's next door. It says, attention, Thracker Zog. You may have just won $10 million. Soup. I'd better get this to its rightful owner. Arthur, is that you? Eyes failing. Chicken soup. Only chance for survival. Oh, Tick, relax. Everybody gets a cold once in a while. Please, the soup. Listen, I'm going to take this letter to the right apartment. I'll be back soon. Fourteen uh, B. Well, this must be the place. <laughs> what? Who are you? Thrakosog from Dimension Apartment Fourteen B. Hi. I'm your new neighbor. Welcome to my humble abode. Pretty cozy, don't you think? How? How did I get here? Well, easily. I tore a hole into the fabric of your dimension with my interplanar portal panel, patent pending. Pretty sweet, eh? What are you doing? Raggedy, Chippy! Now, now, now. There will be plenty of time for brain eating after we conquer Earth. <laughs> And to conquer said Earth, I will need an invincible army, a million superhuman soldiers marching to the tune of my big plum, which is why I should clone the mighty blue tick. Clone the tick? Oh, yes. Your superhero friend is all the attributes I require. Incredible strength, nigh invulnerability, and a teeny tiny little brain. Imagine a legion of ticks at my command. Oh, no! Oh, yes! And when my army is complete, I will rule the world! Hey, eat lots of brains! Fast, tasty brains! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, are we bothering you? No, I just want some munchies. My roommate. He's kind of weird, but he's quiet and always comes through with his half of the event. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, cloning. Wait a second. What do you want with me if it's the tick you're after? Don't you know anything? You're the sidekick. I clone you, then I send the evil clone to procure a tissue sample of the tick so I can clone a million of him. And speaking of tissue samples... I need to get one from you. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Oh, yes, yes, I do. Now hold still. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Cloning is a precise science. That's why I use the clonerizer. It costs more, but you get what you pay for. My own recipe includes a generous portion of Dr. Frack's secret cloning sauce. A pinch of oregano, because, you know, a little goes a long way. And last but not least, your toenail. Mix well. And voila! Arthur the sidekick, prepare to meet Arthur the evil clone. I, Arthur. 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 I, 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 Arthur. Arthur. I, Arthur. I, Arthur. <laughs> He's an eager little bunny, isn't he? They're a bit excitable at first. No, oh, no, no. I, Arthur. Evil clone. We do 
not touch the dolt button. That would send Uncle Frackers all back to his own dimension. And let me say, the ride back is no picnic. I'd rather be strained through a chain link fence. Ugh. Clone, go next door and fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. Got it? A tissue sample. Aye, Arthur. You'll never get away with this, you overconfident blob. The tick will be onto that flimsy fabrication in a second. He hasn't got a chance against the always wary eye of the ever alert tick. some math test I hadn't studied for. And then you tried to saw off my head. Weird, huh? I, Arthur. <laughs> of course you are. And I, Tick. <laughs> uh, sorry, Arthur. <laughs> Blast this uncommon cold anyway. Well, only one thing to do now. Wear this super cold down with many hours of daytime television. Ooh, hey, look. It's Honesty Cola's world of wrestling. Cool. Hear me, wrestling fans. I, the human baboon, crave vengeance. Beautiful Stephen will know the agony of my feet. Uh, I mean, defeat. Well, it's been a while. All must be going well. Apparently, the tick wasn't so quick to discover my clone. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Tick will catch on. Just you wait. Actually, I can't wait. I have to go if you catch my drift. Nature is one call you can't put on hold. Be right back. Be right back. <laughs> no offense. But you scare me. What's going on, little bunny guy? I am a moth. Are you aware that your roommate is a hideous monster from another dimension with evil plans for world domination? Listen, a good roommate relationship is based on a respect for privacy. Look, can you at least loosen these straps because they're chafing me? The human baboon has pulled something out of his baboon pants. It looks like an unsanctioned foreign object. Yes, it's a scale model of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. He's coming up swinging. Ooh, au revoir, beautiful Stephen. Parlez-vous. Ouch. Now, a commercial. Oh, Arthur, there you are. So nice to have company to watch TV with. Brace yourself while corporate America tries to sell us its wretched things. I like jackhammering. I better. I do it all day long. It's a man's job, and I work up a man's high sweat on my brow. You sure do. But I'm not afraid to pamper myself with a flush tissue when my brow needs a good wiping. Plush? Here, big fella. Sample my tissue. I'll show you a tissue sample. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch me a tissue sample from the tick. <laughs> 